Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to our podcast today. These podcasts are brought to you in part by our sponsors, who really truly are what make these podcasts possible every week. O'Fallon Nutrition is a company that I've worked with for over 15 years. They're independently owned and operated, located here in O'Fallon, Missouri, right off of Highway K and Mexico Road. I call this place the Whole Foods of St. Charles County, but even if you are not located on this side of the river, it is still worth the drive. I can remember working all the way down at Powerhouse and still sending people out to O'Fallon Nutrition for their supplements. They are more than a supplement company. You can get grass-fed beef, salad dressing, seasoning for your cooking, uh, hair care products, makeup, uh, deodorant, toothpaste, uh, essential oils, and all the vitamins and minerals that you can think of. If you're looking for clean, whole food nutrition, as well as home care, house care, skin care products, O'Fallon Nutrition is your place. You can take a look at them at O'FallonNutrition.com, or if you'd like to have something shipped, if you're listening to me from outside of St. Louis, you can certainly have items shipped. I know they do free shipping if it's an order over $50, and the phone number is 636-240-5283. Again, it's O'FallonNutrition.com. As well as if um, preparing your food on a weekly basis is your primary excuse for why you're not able to stay on a good clean eating program, which is something that I hear very regularly from my clients, I would ask you to please take the time to ch check out Pure Plates. It's pureplatesstl.com. They are a phenomenal place. We get our food from there during the week. They deliver to our integrity location. They will deliver to your house. Uh, they also uh, are just available for pickup. You can go to their Chesterfield location or their Kirkwood location and just pick up meals for the day, as well as um, just having them delivered right to your door. So if preparing your food is your main excuse for why you cannot stay on a healthy eating program, then I would suggest just stop by Pure Plates. Just try it. If you're trying to lower your blood pressure, you're trying to lower your cholesterol, you're trying to get your blood sugar down, try to do Pure Plates meals for a week and just see how different you feel. These are organic meals. They are gluten-free. If you need them to be, they can be dairy-free. They are soy-free. You're not taking any processed sugars or meat curing agents or preservatives. They really truly believe in nutrient dense meals that are just whole food nutrition. And I've had my clients or I've made recommendations for my clients for years at Pure Plates. It's pureplatesstl.com or you can call them to ask questions at 636-778-3555. Again, remembering that they have a location in Chesterfield as well as in Kirkwood that you can just run by and pick up a meal today. Everyone always asks me where I get my meat from, and given that I really eat meat on a daily basis, um, typically beef primarily, uh, my meat is very important to me. I have an autoimmune condition, and I want grain-free, corn-free meat, and I just haven't found the confidence in stores in knowing that I'm getting 100% grass-fed, grass-finished beef. And I have searched and searched and searched for the right farm, and I have found the farm. It's fedfromthefarm.com, fed, F-E-D, from the farm.com. These farmers are amazing. It's a, it's, it's a family. They're, they're here in Missouri, and they have the desire, just like I do, to see people well and to see people healthy, and they put a lot into what they do. It's such a wonderful family to support. They do uh, offer 100% grass-finished, grass-fed, meaning that's it. Uh, a beef, and I get my ribeyes, I get, uh, you know, my ground beef, my ground sirloin, I get my chuck roast. I mean, they basically have everything. They even have awesome jerky, but they also have eggs, they have chickens, and they have turkey. I'm planning on getting a turkey uh, for Thanksgiving, and if you'd like lamb, they have that as well. Uh, but if you are in need of good quality grass-fed, grass-finished beef, or quality eggs, chicken, Turkey, uh, don't don't just settle for what you're getting at the local store. Uh, 
to go out on the internet and check out Fed from the Farm. Uh, that you can arrange a pickup or you can have it delivered to your for, for, to your home. And I can guarantee you, you're going to taste the difference. Uh, for me, it, my health actually depends on it. So I really thank God to have found such a great farmer. Fedfromthefarm.com. I hope it blesses you. Welcome to Faith, Fuel, and Fitness, the Integrity Way, with your hosts, John and Debbie Morris from Integrity Training Systems. Hi, everybody. This is Debbie Morris with Integrity Training Systems on Real Talk 93.3. I'm so happy to be with you guys today. I am the health coach, functional nutrition coach, and a personal trainer at Integrity Training Systems. I am the owner of Integrity Training Systems, along with my husband, John Morris. Um, I am on my own today. He is not with me. Uh, but I am here to talk to you about longevity and just the, the what is it going to take for us to not only live a long life, but to live a quality long life. And we always start our segments, um, the show, with uh, the warrior uh, segment. Our first segment is what we call our podcast is the warrior podcast. And we talk about the definition of a warrior, which is a brave or experienced soldier or fighter. And uh, we just try to encourage people to battle on. You know, we try to encourage people to not give up hope, uh, to not leave the ring, to, to, to stay committed and to really just keep fighting the good fight of faith every single day. And one of the posts that I posted this week on my social media just under my personal page, um, it, I'm going to read it to you guys because it it just kind of expressed, you know, the way I battle, and I just thought it would it, thought it would help you guys. Um, but it starts with the highest. Uh, it, this is a quote um, that I heard, and I'm I'm not sure who I heard it from. Uh, is the highest form of faith is thanking God before the answer has come and believing that it is actually coming. Uh, and I always often say, thank you, Lord, for the blessing that will come out of this day in the morning when I'm doing my morning stretching and my morning breath work, which I kind of consider my form of meditation, but I'm just actually physically releasing my body at the same time. And I've had many days that I didn't think I would have the strength to believe that, that the answer was actually coming. About 10 years ago, I've had, I had a moment that just hit me where I woke up and I just started thinking, you know, every day I have a choice. I can stay stuck in fear, uh, the actual suffering that I was truly dealing with, um, and the real challenges of life, or I can decide to trust and believe and to stand strong. And it, it genuinely was like a day where I just had this moment where I woke up and I found myself just, just stuck in struggle and no one would know it. I put on a good face. I remained positive, but I felt stuck in it. And I truly just woke up and said, all of these sermons, all of these motivational speeches, all of these, um, you know, visits to my church and just all of this that I had digested over all these years, what was I doing with it? Why was I continuing to wake up in fear? Well, I had some pretty serious issues going on. Why was I continuing to wake up, you know, just thinking that the worst was coming? Well, it kind of seemed that way because the worst had come. But at the end of the day, it was a choice. I could find blessing in the day. I was just choosing not to. I was only choosing to see, you know, what was so, such a struggle for me. So from that point, it was sort of a defining moment in my life. And I remember someone told me, listen, this is a defining moment in your life. You either define the moment or the moment defines you. And at that moment, I defined the moment. Okay, I did. I And it did kind of define me because I've become a very different person because of it. And I, I went on to say, thanking God when life is hitting you hard is truly difficult. Believing he will come through for you when there is no sign or signal of it is next to impossible. This is when my personal faith leveled up. I learned to find contentment in my life. It doesn't mean I don't press hard for improvement and change. It just means I acknowledge that I'm never alone. I'm doing all that I do for the Lord. He is my reason. He is my why. Even when the road gets bumpy, I stay encouraged by his word and that and hope that a better day will come. Even if it didn't, I would serve him with all that I have. I know what it is to be in need. 
I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, rather well-fed or hungry, rather living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4, 12 and 13. This scripture taught me to focus on him, to be grateful for what he has done, to never give up hope, to continue to remain humble, and to know I can be mighty through him. But without him, I am a ship lost at sea. He is the light that guides me through the troubled waters. If it wasn't for the lighthouse, my ship would sail no more. I thank God for his mighty light in my life, my lighthouse, my salvation. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That was a post that I posted this week. And uh, I say it to you this morning because I had some clients this morning that told me that they were truly struggling going through, you know, just just some warfare in life. And it just reminded me of this segment. It reminded me of why we do this segment, you know, why we keep people fighting. And I, you know, just tried to encourage them with a message. I sent them a message and I reminded them to, you know, and I'm going to remind you guys of this same exact thing. So all of this wasn't just for them. This is also for you. I, I believe God wouldn't have given me this word. He didn't just give it to me for them. He gave it to me for me and he gave it to me for you. But as you're going through the struggles and you're going through the challenges of life, I want to press this into you to put on the full armor of God, to be strong in the Lord, to stand firm against the schemes of the devil that our struggle is not against flesh and blood and that we need to lay down the earthly weapons and to take up the weapons that will allow us to truly fight against this enemy. And that is the sincere and true word of God, that we need to stand firm with the word of God. We need to endure hardship as a good soldier of Christ and that we are living for this cause, the cause of Jesus Christ. The devil's objective is to destroy you so that you cannot live for it. The thief comes to take from you, to kill, and to destroy you. He is committed. You must fight back. It's time to go to the mattresses. It's time to fight back. It's time to dig deep. It's time to put that armor on. It's time to put that shield wall together as a family and to come together and to say, you will not take me down, enemy. We have a cause. We have a purpose. We know why we're here. We know what we're serving. And even though the money's getting low and even though the sickness has come on and even though the struggles have come and maybe some relationships are getting tethered and maybe someone stole from you and maybe someone hurt you and maybe someone left you, uh, maybe someone's been backstabbing you and talking bad about you. I don't know what's going on in your life, but I know who we serve and I know what will allow us to overcome it. And I know that if you meditate on that and that that becomes your supreme focus, I know change will come. And I pray today that you can find the strength just for today. So don't look at how you're going to make it through the rest of the week. Don't look at how you're going to make it through the rest of the month or the rest of the year with your money, with your, with your uh, relationship, uh, with, with, with your health. Look at how you're going to make it through the rest of the day. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a plan. There's nothing wrong with preparing for your future. But for today, let's just look at today and let's figure out how for one more day we're going to serve God to the fullest capacity and ability that we have and that we are going to put the enemy under our feet where he belongs and that we will release the bondage of the strongholds that he tries to put on us, rather that be going for food in the wrong way, rather that be for going for, you know, the wrong uh, comfort in the wrong areas, whatever your situation is, or rather that be driving yourself to anxiety, to fear or depression in such a way that you can't get yourself out of it, whatever the circumstance is, we are more than conquerors through him okay he is our light he is our salvation his hand is on us in all that we do we are mighty we are strong we are powerful warriors because of him stay encouraged warriors stay strong stand firm in your faith it is worth it you will make it through you will endure this hardship 
you will overcome. You will see the other side of it. And I am telling you right now, you will have a story to tell. And this strongest difficulty that you have gone through right now will actually be what qualifies you to help many other people. It may even become your ministry. It is the exact reason why I do nutrition for a living because I almost died 25 years ago and nutrition is what saved my life, that and my faith. So it is why I'm so passionate about it. If you need help, if you are stuck in the struggle, I know you may need help with nutrition, you may need help with exercise, but man, if you need help with mindset, you need help with creating standards and goals, you need help with with changing the way you think every day, your beliefs and your mindset, that's what we do at Integrity. I am a health coach and I am a life coach. That is what I am here to help you do. For more information on a six month nutrition program, with myself at Integrity Training Systems. Please take a look at us at IntegrityTrainingSystems.com or for more information on my personal bakery for nutrient-dense, gluten-free, dairy-free baked goods delivered to your doorstep, please take a look at Sophie'sBakery.com. And for the best grass-finished beef in the state delivered to your doorstep, please take a look at FedFromTheFarm.com. Hi, everybody. This is Debbie Morris with Integrity Training Systems on Real Talk 93.3. I'm so excited to be here, and I pray that, uh, you know, this message really resonates with you and blesses you. I pray that it just plants a seed that, you know, just creates and, and inspires you to start making some changes. My passion is health. It's for creating a drive for other people to want to be inspired to live a healthier lifestyle. Now, I I do that through nutrition. I do that through uh, exercise, and I coach people on both. But another part of what I do is I truly coach people on how to live a long life. So longevity, you know, it's it's almost should be called longevity coaching, basically. So I want to talk you through... Um, some bullets of this uh, during this show of how to create a life of quality and longevity. And the first thing I want to approach with you, our first bullet is going to be habits and routine. Let's go through what some successful habits and routines would need to be uh, in order to create a quality life, a preventative uh, health care life, a, a way of being proactive with your health. Now, first of all, you need quality habits and you need a quality routine. So if you don't have that and you're flying by the seat of your pants, the first thing we need to do is shift it and we need to get quality habits and we need to get a quality routine. That's the first thing. So here's some questions. How do you wake up in the morning? Are you setting the snooze button and barely getting to work on time? Or are you trying to set it 10 minutes earlier so you have a few more minutes to get something extra in? Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you to get up at 3.30 in the morning so you can get everything in because I'm a firm believer that sleep is a big part of how a person can stay healthy, how they can restore. So I sincerely believe that sleep should be a priority. However, I do believe that you can chunk it, okay? So let's say you want to take on a little bit more. Maybe you want to do a little bit more in the morning. Maybe you want to be able to commit to a little bit more time for some for a good routine, a good healthy routine for your health, what I would suggest doing is starting in 10 minute increments. Start to wake up 10 minutes earlier. We will do what we can within those 10 minutes. Here's a great way to start your day. While you're still lying in bed, start with breath work. Put your hand on your stomach. Count in for a full six count, in through your nose. Hold it at the top. Count out for a full six count and hold it at the exhale. Start doing some deep breathing. Count that 20 times. You will you will calm the nervous system down within those 20 breaths. Now, let me advance it ever so slightly. Why don't you put two pillows behind the center of your spine 
Let them rest right at your low back and let it go up and protect your head and neck. Open your arms out to the side as a T. If you can, if you have the flexibility, pull your feet together and your knees out wide in a butterfly position. Now take in those deep breaths. Set a timer on your Alexa for five minutes and sit there and do deep breath work and the chest opener and the butterfly stretch for five minutes. You will release blockages. You will release your lymphatic system. You will set yourself up for having better energy and better circulation all throughout the rest of the day. In Chinese medicine, we call uh, uh, circulation qi. It's, it's life force energy. It's how the body can feel its very best. Taking time for breath work, taking time for stretching in the morning is powerful. Use that time for gratitude. Spend time praising God. Spend time thanking God, you know, and really just getting an attitude of gratitude. When you're focusing on what you're grateful for, it is very, very difficult to feel overwhelmed. It is very difficult to feel anxious and to start the day depressed when you're focusing on what you're grateful for. I know you may think that you've got so many bad things going on that you're actually not grateful for anything, but I can assure you, you have things that you're grateful for. Other things that we can do is go for a walk, even if it's just a 10-minute walk. You don't have time to do 30 minutes, fine, don't do 30 minutes. It's absolutely okay. It's not necessary to start out with a lot. Start small and build it. Walking will stimulate the lymphatic system. It'll get your body draining out toxins. It'll make you feel less swollen. Another excellent way is a cold plunge. Get in the shower, take your shower or take your bath. And at the very end, set a timer for two minutes. You don't have to have your head under the water, but put the front of your body under cold water for a minute and then put the back of your body under cold water for a minute. It is shocking to the system. It will really robustly increase energy in your mitochondria at a cellular level. And it is incredible for healing. It will reduce inflammation. I almost feel like my body feels less swollen immediately after. And it will provide such a quality level of energy for you. Try the cold plunge every single day after your walk. Take your vitamins every morning. My gosh, just start with a standard multivitamin. CoQ10 is an excellent vitamin. Vitamin D3 is an excellent vitamin. Vitamin B, vitamin C, all of these can really help you to be able to feel better throughout your day. Take time for a, a, a daily devotional, one page devotional. It can get your mind right. It can get you set on the right track. And by all means, take time for prayer. You know, thank God and just just grow accustomed to speaking to him all throughout your day. Successful people do what they need to do, rather they feel like it or not. And taking action actually creates motivation. So doing these things as you start your day should start to create that motivation wheel and get you feeling inspired throughout your day. And what I want to ask you is, have you set any of these things up as a should, I should do that? Or have you set them up as a must? I must do that. That is what makes me healthy. That is what makes me stronger. That is what gears me in the right direction. I need to make this a must, not a should. I need to be proactive with my health, not reactive with my health. Habits and routine will change your life. I can assure you, if you start to put some of these in place, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly what we do at Integrity Training Systems. With my six-month nutrition program, I teach you habits and routine. I coach you through these dynamics and create a successful scenario for you to be successful and to be the healthiest version of yourself that you can be. For more information on a six-month nutrition program with myself at Integrity Training Systems, take a look at IntegrityTrainingSystems.com. Or for more information on a free personal fitness assessment with any of our personal trainers, give us a call at 636-299-2208. 
For nutrient-dense, gluten-free, dairy-free baked goods from my personal bakery delivered to your doorstep, take a look at sophiesbakery.com. And for the very best grass-finished, fully 100% grass-fed beef in the state, take a look at fedfromthefarm.com delivered to your doorstep. We'll be right back. Hi, everybody. This is Debbie Morris with Integrity Training Systems on Real Talk 93.3. So thankful to be here with you. We talked about habits and routine. We're talking about a lifestyle of longevity today. My next bullet for you is a big one, such an important one. Notice I haven't even touched on exercise and nutrition yet because these are our building blocks. Of course, my first segment was about faith. That's your main building block. That's your foundation. That's what secures you every day of your life now these are your building blocks these are your walls this is what creates a scenario where you can be successful and it keeps you sustained it keeps you down the path of success and sustainability my second bullet is beliefs and mindset very important so we talked about habits and routine now we're going to talk about beliefs and mindset and mindset a quality life is related to the quality of your thinking If you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. What do you ask yourself every single day? Do you ask yourself if you're going to have a great day? Do you ask yourself if you're blessed and unstoppable? Do you ask yourself if you're blessed and highly favored? Or do you tell yourself that it's going to be a terrible day? Do you tell yourself that you can't do it, that it's not going to be okay, everything's going to fall apart, the bottom's going to come out of this day? Do you tell yourself, I can't make it through this day, I don't want to do this day, before you even start it? Do you have a virus in your mindset? Do you need to clean house and take an antibiotic for the brain so that you can free yourself from what is binding up your mind and keeping you from being able to truly be successful? Ed Milet said, your obsessions become your possessions. So if you're obsessing on the negativity, That is what you will possess, negativity. If you are obsessing on the positivity or you're obsessing on the possibility, I like to say possibility instead of positivity. If you're obsessing on the possibility that things could go your way today, that things will go your way today, that God will provide all of your needs, that he will equip you every way that you need to be equipped then there's that great possibility that that could be what you end up possessing because that becomes your obsession. If you have a dream and you're chasing after that dream and you become obsessed for that dream, you will at some point possess that dream. You will grab a hold of it because you are not giving up on it. So you only get from your life what you will tolerate. These are amazing quotes. So what are you tolerating in your life? Are you tolerating negative people around you? Are you tolerating a bad environment? Are you tolerating people that don't believe in you and people that put you down? Are you tolerating, you know, getting, caring what people think about you? Are you tolerating the fact that that people and what they say about you is triggering you and it's creating a loop and you stay stuck on that loop and it ruins your day and it ruins your quality of life? And you're never truly able to actually accomplish the call that God has on your life because you're truly so focused on these negative beliefs and this negative mindset. Don't let your past infect your future. If you have a negative past, if you were terrible with your food, if you were committed to sugar all the time and you really feel like you're addicted to it, if you truly feel like You have circumstances where you have failed over and over again, and that becomes at the forefront of your mind and what you play on repeat over and over again, 
then it's going to affect every day for the rest of your life. It's going to affect how you eat in the future. Why would you continue to eat healthy when you think you're just a failure? You've always failed in the past. You're going to keep continuing to to pat to fail. So why keep continuing to try, right? Change that mindset. I might have failed in the past, but I'm not failing in the future. I'm blessed and I'm highly favored. God's hand is on my life. He is calling me to something greater. Your why is more powerful than your how, okay? What is driving you? Is it your family? Are are you wanting to be healthy? Are you wanting to be successful for them so you can give them a better life? Great, they're your why. Picture them every day. Whenever you try to go down that negative track, whenever you try to, to get into a position to where you start feeding yourself nothing but negative energy, Picture them, get a picture of them in front of you. Get a picture of the vision that is your why. My staff is part of my why. My clients are part of my why. Why do I chase after this huge dream of this incredible health center that I want to build for them? Why do I chase after it every day? Why do I meet with someone? I met with someone today. I meet with someone every week trying to find a way to make it possible for them. Why do I do this every day, every week of my life? Because of them. I want to see them well. I want to see my trainers to be able to treat and to help people at a different level. I want to bring quality of life to more people. That is my why. I position a picture of that in front of me. I have a vision board. We have a vision board at the gym. I am always reminding myself of that why. It is so much more important to me than how I'm going to do it. Because if I get stuck on how I'm going to do it, I will sink in the quicksand of defeated thinking because it's going to take millions of dollars and I don't have any of it, okay? And I am going to have to find it. And I'm going to have to find people that support the vision, that believe in the vision, that are honest, hardworking people, that believe that faith can run this business and that faith can move mountains. And it is going to take a lot for me to find those people. But if I stay focused on the how I will fail. I will never, ever get there. Lastly, when it comes to beliefs and mindset, I will say to you this quote, nobody wins by working less. Nobody gets healthy by working less. Health takes hard work. It takes commitment. It takes consistency. It takes falling off the horse and getting back on. It takes going down the wrong road and getting turning around and getting back on the right road. It takes refusing to give up. And I mean refusing to give up. Failing and just saying, I will try again tomorrow. I will try again with my next meal. I will never give up trying to find a healthy lifestyle. Anything that you truly want in life that is truly worth having will take work to get it and you will find opposition, you will find challenges around every corner, but you will never get it by working less. You will never get it by giving up. You will never get it by throwing in the towel. Now my next bullet is goals and standards. This is our path to longevity, goals and standards. What do we need to do? How do we need to set goals and standards? Well, well, very, very first, we have to be very specific. What are our goals? What are our standards? What's the difference between a goal and a standard? Well, a standard is a way I'm going to live. It's it's a commitment to a way of life. Goals are short-term actions that help me remain committed to that way of life. If I tell myself my standards are I will live a healthy life, then my goals will be to prep my food every week. My goals will be to get my exercise in, do my breath work, do my stretching. If my standards are that I will be a fantastic wife and mother, then my goals are that I'm going to have quiet time with my daughter each night, that I will pray with my family together, that I will always have Sunday dinner with them. Those are my goals, okay? Goals are more than a marathon. Goals are more than a mud run. We need a goal for every area of our life, all right? But we need a standard first. If we don't set the standard first, we'll never... We might achieve a goal, but we'll never maintain that goal. And that is the problem. People set up these great goals. I'm going to do a bodybuilding show. I'm going to do a a marathon. I'm going to do the mud run. I'm going to do this contest. I'm going to go to the CrossFit, you know, games contest. 
However, they haven't set up the standards. They haven't created the lifestyle first. And so after they achieve the goal, they fall back into those old habits, that old routine. Okay, and those are the negative habits and the negative routine, the ones we wanted to throw out the window and not continue, right? So what do we need to do first? We set up standards. What are our standards? That's our creed. That's what we want to follow. That's our code in life. Write it out, guys. Write out what you want that creed and standards and code of ethics to be for your life. How do you want to be as a husband or a wife and a mother and a father, How do you want to be as a business owner? How do you want to be as an employee? How do you want to be as a person of faith? How do you want God to view you? How healthy do you want to be? How active do you want to be? Those are your standards. Now, underneath those standards that you wrote out, let's set a goal. Let's set a goal. I don't care how big you think that goal is. Don't think about how you're going to do it. Think about the why. Why are you doing it? Because of that standard. That standard matters, right? Guys, this is life-changing stuff. If you start to apply it, if you take the time to write it down, your life will change. Commit to these goals, but write down the standards. How can you commit to the goal? Hire a coach. Get some accountability. Hire a trainer. Hire a nutrition coach. Hire a life coach. Hire a mentor. Visualize these things. See yourself accomplishing it. Create a, 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 a meditation uh, uh, or a prayer time in your life every day where you sit and you meditate and you pray and you believe God for these changes and you bring it to the Lord. Create a board where you see pictures of yourself successful, okay? Be accountable, though, to someone. It really makes a difference when you have accountability. And don't, again, I will repeat this for this one. Don't let your past impact your present, okay? If you failed in the past at these goals, maybe you didn't set up standards, but just because you failed doesn't mean you won't achieve it. You've got to get back in the ring. Don't give up. Take it one meal at a time. Small steps will get you there. One 10-minute walk at a time, three times a day, you know, five minutes of stretching, and then move it to 10 minutes of stretching, 20 deep breaths, and then move it to a minute of deep breaths, 30 seconds under the cold water, and then move it to a minute, and then move it to ten to two minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes would be a long time. It might be a little chilly. But these are the ways that you make changes, small steps, chunking, one small step at a time. But be very specific. What I ask you to do today is get out a sheet of paper and write down your code of ethics. Write down your standards, okay? Tell yourself, what do I need that code of ethics to be? What are my standards in life? Write it about your finances. Write it about your relationships. Write it about your health. Write it about all areas of your life. And then under that, write your goals. Then at the very bottom of that page, write five important topics about your beliefs and your mindset. My God shall supply all of my needs. I am more than a conqueror. I can do all things through Christ. I am blessed and highly favored. Look at that every day and believe it. Speak it and say it for yourself. This is what we do at Integrity. We inspire, we motivate, we encourage, we create a scenario where we can help you live a long life, a quality, a long life full of quality. For more information on our six-month nutrition program or a free personal fitness assessment with any of our personal trainers, please take a look at us at IntegrityTrainingSystems.com or give us a call at 636-299-2208. For nutrient-dense, gluten-free, dairy-free baked goods delivered to your doorstep from my personal bakery to you, please take a look at Sophie'sBakery.com. And for the very best grass-finished, 100% grass-fed beef in town, Please take a look at fedfromthefarm.com, delivered to your doorstep.
Hi, everybody. This is Debbie Morris with Integrity Training Systems on Real Talk 93.3. We appreciate you listening so much, and we appreciate this station. The owners of the station are such an incredible blessing. They provide this quality information to the community, and it is a struggle, I know, to be able to maintain such a, a quality station, and we truly are blessed to be on the station and appreciate them in so many ways. And we appreciate all of you for listening and supporting us. And we pray that our information that we share for you just truly blesses you. And it, it, it creates a formula for change and encouragement in your life. Now, we've talked about habits and routine. We're talking about a longevity mindset. We've talked about beliefs and mindset. We've talked about goals and standards. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about associations and environment. Okay. Again, none of these had anything to do with exercise. None of these had anything to do with nutrition. Of course, we need that to be on track for longevity, but that's a whole show in itself. Us just talking about those two things, and that's likely going to be my next show. Uh, But for today, I wanted to get you prepared. If you build this framework, And this is your foundation, that first segment being faith as your true foundation and the walls being created with the habits and the routine and the beliefs and the mindset and the goals and the standards, then you're putting yourself in a position to where you can be successful with exercise and with your nutrition. So just understand it takes some work to create that foundation and to Create a situation where you can be successful. Now, lastly, I want to talk to you about associations and environment and understanding that you need to audit your environment on a regular basis because your environment basically overrides almost everything in your life. If you are are living a positive life, you are thinking positively, but you come home to a horribly negative, uh, abusive horrible environment. I am telling you right now, no matter how strong you are as a person, it is going to catch up to you. It is going to end up causing pain. It is going to end up causing disease in the body. If you are hanging around a group of people that are always committed to eating poorly and drinking, you know, over, you know, overindulging, you are ultimately going to be in a position to where you are going to end up doing what they are doing. Uh, This is an awesome quote. The most powerful force is us becoming consistent with the expectations of the people that are around us, our peer groups. So the most powerful force, it can be powerful for for the positive or it can be powerful for the negative, okay? So if we are surrounded by individuals that are only going so far with their life, they're only doing so much, and they really don't expect that much out of us. And in fact, anytime we try to move forward in a more positive direction or advance in our life, they're almost scaring us or trying to tell us, oh, come on, you can just have one of those. Oh, come on, you don't want to be on something that's that restricted. Oh, come on. Are you sure that you really should spend that much money on something like that? Are you getting in over your head? You know, are you sure that you really want to spend that much time committing to a project like that? Listen, iron sharpens iron. Get yourself around people that sharpen you, not trigger you. You want people to trigger you for greatness, not negativity. And I love the quote, proximity is power. That is truly going to be your saving grace. If you are in the proximity of people full of faith, you will catch the fever of their faith, okay? If you are in the proximity of people, it's it's the way Integrity Training Systems is. Just being in the proximity of the people that are in that building, you, you're inspired to be healthy. You're inspired to get equipped. You're inspired to really, truly feel better and, 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 and to drive after and to, and to stay in hope and to keep fighting for change for your life. Reduce the amount of people in your life that do not believe in you. And I have to just remind you, get rid of the bad triggers in your life. The people that create scenarios and they send you down this path of thinking negative thoughts and creating this loop in your mind where you can't stop thinking about the past. 
You can't stop thinking about someone harm, how someone harmed you. You can't stop thinking about how you were addicted to sugar or, or you are addicted to sugar. You can't stop thinking about how you can't get ahead no matter how hard you try because that's what they think about all the time. That's what they talk about all the time. Get around the people that talk about how you can do it. Get around the people that believe big. Get around the people that encourage you. If you can't find those people, fight for change. Find them. Get out there. Get around other people. Force yourself to get in new environments. Go to church. Go to Bible studies. Get into special groups. You know, join a master's, uh, you know, a master's class. Uh, get it, Go to a retreat, you know, a mastermind retreat. Get around successful people. Get around people who have failed and have overcome from those failures. If you need healing, get around people who have achieved that healing. Find small healing groups. You know, get around people who have done it, who have fought the good fight and who have not given up. Find yourself in an environment where you are encouraged, where you are built up, where you know that you are more than a conqueror, where you know that God is with you every step of the way. Get into a Bible-believing church where they're speaking faith over you and through you, not convicting you for every doggone wrong thing you've ever done in your life. There's healthy conviction, but there's also unhealthy conviction, all right? If you've made mistakes with your food, if you've made mistakes in the past, don't be around the people that do the same exact thing all the time. Get around people that are more than conquerors and that are trying again. Maybe they haven't been perfect. One of the best trainers I have on staff lost 100 pounds and is addicted to sugar, and he's willing to admit it. And he sits and tells people, if I can overcome this, you can overcome this. I believe in you. You can do this. We will do this together. Get around people that have done it, okay, and keep fighting for that change. Your associations will determine truly the life you live and who you become. Now, let me tell you, this was the framework for how to build longevity in your life. This was the framework for a healthy nutrition program. This was the framework for a healthy exercise program. Without this framework, you will not stick to it. You will give up every time it becomes challenging and difficult. Every bad day, every serious scenario, every death in the family, every adrenalized moment that comes up, it'll trigger you to get off of your plan, to quit and to not do the exercise, to not go to the gym, to not do the breath work, to not take the time, and to yield to the flesh instead of yielding to your faith. Guys, you need this framework. You need this foundation. Build it first. Pour the concrete with your faith, okay? Start to put up, you know, that base floor that they put down, right? Put it down with your habits and your routine. Start putting up the the walls, okay? Start framing up the walls with your beliefs and your mindset. And then write down your standards. Commit to writing down what your standards are. And underneath those standards, put a goal. How am I going to accomplish this standard? Maybe it's a 30-day goal. Maybe it's a 30-year goal. Maybe it's an every single day, I will have to do this. I will stay committed to this. If you don't see it, if you don't have a vision for it, if it's not out there, if it's not in front of you, how will you ever accomplish it? You'll stay on that hamster wheel. You'll stay cycling in the defeat and not not seeing any change in your life. I believe for better for you. I believe for restoration. I believe for change. I believe for a magnificent way of living and a longevity lifestyle and a way of thinking that is proactive, not reactive. God bless you guys for listening. For more information on a six-month nutrition program with myself and coaching, you know, just to help you to navigate through all of this and build this foundation together, please take a look at IntegrityTrainingSystems.com. To meet with a personal trainer for a free personal fitness assessment, please give us a call at 636-299-2208. And for nutrient-dense, gluten-free, dairy-free baked goods from my personal bakery delivered to your doorstep, 
please take a look at sophiesbakery.com. And for the very best, farm-raised, 100% grass-finished beef delivered to your doorstep, please go to fedfromthefarm.com. God bless you, warriors, as you chase after feeling great, living great in a longevity lifestyle. I pray blessing on you, favor, and I can't wait until the next time we meet again.